Hi everyone, welcome back to this um, picture from our planner for this week. Now, um, yesterday we did the top and bottom of the terrarium in a sort of gold look. And uh, today we obviously have our um, flowers or background to work on. Now it's a little tricky to know what to do with regards to the background. Um, I have been thinking maybe I could do it blue, um, a bit like sky. I know we're in a terrarium, but um, I'm not really sure. Um, trying to think. I mean, it could be see-through. It's glass. We could do nothing. But then, how do we make a glass? It look like glass without doing a bit of colour on it. So I think I'm just going to leave that thought for a bit. I might be able to use some grey and do something glassy later. I think we'll concentrate on the flowers. It's a little bit easier um, for me. And uh, so let's go in a little bit closer. Now, <clears throat> I might just work across. I've got a pretty flower here. I'm not going to necessarily try to identify them. I think I'm just going to use a mix of pinks, purples, reds, oranges, blues, just a big mix of colours. Often when I do a mix of colours, it can look a bit random, but let's just go for it and see what happens. I think I've just grabbed a pink. <coughs> Excuse me. Frog's back in my throat again. Um, this is number 25 and uh, I'm going to use it on this one. Now this shape of flower I always think um, it's better to put some more intense colour down into the base here and then a little less towards the edge of the flower because where it's tucked in here there'll be a bit more shadow so I'm just going to do that throughout and I really like this pink. This is, um, what's it called, 25? It's called pink. <laughs> I've got a list of the colour names um, sellotaped inside the lid of the tin because I found this um, um, on Stedler's website. They have the names, which I like because I don't, I don't like always dealing with a number. Um, but uh, it's fun. It helps me uh, just know what's going on, really. But uh, obviously colour names don't always equate to each other in different sets and things like that. But uh, it's just a bit of fun to know what they are. But I think this is a slightly salmon-y looking pink somehow. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one of the new ones in the Stedler 32 set, um, 36 set, sorry. One that's not in their original 24. What I found quite fascinating, which I've said before, but I'll bore you with it again, is that this Stedler, this set of Stedlers, which are the um, super soft design journey pencils, have 24, but they're not the same 24 as in the Ergosoft 24. And I find that quite strange in a way, but. Um, you know, obviously Stedler had their reasons. Maybe um, they found that some of their other ones were just more popular, other colours. And it's still a good range of colour. You know, you get your white and black, which um, I find it a bit annoying sometimes getting a white and black in every set. But it's sort of, I can see why they do it. It's like a basic, isn't it? And then you get, um, I'm just over, going back over some of those bases to make them a little bit darker. You can use a darker shade of colour to to define them more, but I find that matching a colour can be a little bit tricky. I mean, if you swatch it out, you can do that. But if you use something like a grey or a black or a brown, it can make it look a bit dirty sometimes. So you have to just be careful. There we go. I'm not going to do any greenery at the moment. I think... What I'm going to do is probably do all the greenery the same. Because I'm doing all the flowers different, I think doing the greenery the same could help to um, put it together a little bit. Right, we've got this rather large pretty flower now. and um, We've got the centre to deal with first. Mm, scratch my head and have a think. Um, <laughs> I think we'd do the centre in a similar shade to the flower. So maybe a darker, slightly darker colour. So I'm grabbing this number three. This is the blue. And I'm going to do the centre part and this bit and these in this blue. And then a slightly different blue for the rest. Hopefully it will work. 
So my idea is to go around the edge of this centre part in a few layers to make it quite dark and then fade it as I come towards the middle. And that might give the impression that the centre is sticking up a little bit from the rest of the plant. I need to sharpen this pen so it needs to be really sharp. I hope that that is working. Around. Yes, I'm quite intrigued. Yeah, as I see, we still get the black and the white, and we get a light grey, which is what we got in the 24 ergos, and we get two yellows, but we get and with the peach, which I really dislike. I don't know why. It just seems a bit wishy washy. I've never liked that colour in any Norris ergos, any Stedler. I'm trying to make these petals a little bit darker, nearer to the centre. And just overlaying the colour a little more. Um, yeah, so uh, there's that. But then there's uh, an orange. There's a red. And then you've got your pinks, magenta, one, um, your dark purple. Which I think is better. The, there's a sort of much lighter purple colour in the 36 ergos with the dark. And I think they're so similar that if you just use the dark lightly, you get the same shade than you do if you use the light one with some intensity. I'm going to try and make that really quite dark around here. So I'm just going over and over it. It's a bit easier sometimes to do it after, like this. There we go. Now these teardrop shapes I'm going to do in this and I'm just going to go, I don't really know what they're supposed to be, and just sort of fade them towards the middle, like that. As I say, I don't know what they're supposed to be, we just have fun with them. But we've also got um, three blues, one's a slightly greeny blue, and we've got four greens we've got my favorite green which is the um new one in the air goes the sort of light olive i guess i would call it i think it's called willow green i'm not sure but no it's called light olive line uh, <laughs> and we've got the really dark bluey green which i know is a favorite of emily illustrators so that's interesting So uh, we've got a few different ones that aren't in the 24 ergos. Right, let's just try and define that a little bit. There we go. Now our actual petals, I'm going to do in a lighter blue. I do have a darker blue, but I'm going to use the lighter blue. Um, I don't think that's the one I want. I've got a cyan and a light blue and I'm actually going to use oops, the light blue which is number 30 and I want to do a similar thing with these is to make them darker under where these petals the center petals are and then just gently fade it out basically doing less layers as you go towards the tip that I think it looks quite pretty and this overturned bit I'm always never quite know what to do with it I think I'll keep it light sometimes flowers are the same color on the top and the bottom with their petals and sometimes they're very different but you can do what you want is your picture and this is obviously an imaginary flower so. Now if you're doing this and you find that your graduation of colour from light to dark isn't as good as you want, then there are a few things you can do. If it's not fading light enough up here, it's gone too dark, just use your eraser to take a little bit back very gently. Make sure your eraser is really clean. You can rub it on a scrap piece of paper or the desk first to um, make sure it's clean. 
um, that's one thing. Another tip I'll show you on this one is you just do it all lightly like this. Hold your pencil further down the barrel on its side and just do a really light layer to start with like that. Just fill in that bit really gently. Then you don't need to go back and do this bit. Now you can darken up this bit and just very gently Take it up a little bit. Like that. I find fading down to almost nothing is hardest. Um, on some Chris Cheng um, tutorials that I followed, she does a sort of backgroundy bit and she just sort of fades out to the paper. I think it's possibly because the prisoners are very much lighter, so you can do that. Also, I think her lighting um, helps in the fact that when I look at it I can see the light reflecting off my pencil you know the pencils are oily or waxy so you can see the light shining off them so um, you can see where it suddenly stops and there's no more light reflecting off it whereas because of the position of her lights which is the same as mine here that you can't see that waxiness on the pencil so I think that might be part of it as well. There we go. So there is our blue flower. Now, got this one here. Now this bit here, I think you have to decide, is it going to be a part of the flower? Is it going to be a leaf? If you don't like it, you could white it out and then colour over it. Um, I probably won't do that. It's a little bit... Daring. I'm going to grab a orange though and do this one with number four. This is the orange that I've got in my set. Um, I think I'm going to leave it and make it a leaf so it's green. Not a leaf but a bit of green. So I'm just going to put an intense amount of orange down at the bottom here. Just layering and then fade it up. usually do flowers this shape in pinks like tulips but there's no reason why we shouldn't use other colours and I just thought that it's about time I did one that was a little bit different hence the uh, this colour now the um, gold part of this um, the top and bottom if you want to make it look a little bit more fancy you could go over it with some glitter. Um, just sitting back and yeah, it needs a bit more work. Um, you could go over it all with one of the clear glitter pens. So just add a layer of clear glitter. You could put some gold on all the black lines if you wanted. It's that'd be a bit fiddly, but that's another thing you could do. Just you know, I've seen people do this and it looks rather good. So I thought I would just share there. Um, ideas. There we go. I think that's 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 fine. Now you could make it slightly darker in here where these are overlapping. I think that is what would happen. It'd be a little bit of shadow. I'm just going to sharpen up my pencil. And I'm going to see if I can apply just a line just down there and there just to make it there the shadow there just a little bit more now we have these um what should we use we could use our red couldn't we for these um this is number two it's just called red and uh with these i usually start darker at the top but actually i think i'm going to do it the reverse way so i'm going to make it more intense at the bottom and then fade it up to the top like that. I think that's fun. Now these pencils, um, compared to Ergosoft's, to me they feel just a tad harder. Um, I can sort of hear them scraping on the paper, which I don't think I can with my Ergosoft's. But the colours are identical which is nice because I'm familiar with them so then that makes them nice to work with but um, yeah they are but 
yeah, I'm, I get on with them really well. So I think, but the problem is there's only 24. So uh, I don't have a big range of colours like I do with my Ogre Softs. Sometimes it's nice to have a limited colour palette though. Um, if I'm really in the mood for not choosing colours, I do one of two things. I either grab a colour cube card, which um, I've been doing lately because I've had the colour cubes, or I um, grab a set of 12. I've got a set of 12 polycolours pencils. Um, these are um, Corinor pencils and I grab those and in that set I've got no white or black I've just got yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, two blues, two greens, brown, black I think there's black yeah there's a black but no white, that's right I'm going to make this one a little bit darker because it's behind the others that faded, very good I am going to come back and do a little bit more with these in a minute. Just getting my basic colour down. And then we'll uh, come back and do a little bit. Need some um, yellow flowers. I was actually practising white flowers the other day. Um, I've seen um, people doing white and I was much, much admiration. And uh, I didn't know how to do white flowers. Um, I'm going to sharpen this. Um, and uh, But someone directed me towards... That's sharpened very oddly. Anyway, someone... I'm going to do a little bit of shadow in here. Um, someone called Liz Harper Illustrations, I think it is, in on Instagram. And she actually had a little article on how to paint white flowers. Now obviously painting and colour pencils are really different but one of her tips, you know, how do you make them stand out? So her tip was to do a background and then it stands out, which makes sense. Um, a coloured background. So I had a go and I did quite a light background actually because I didn't want the background to sort of almost hide the flowers, you know what I mean? It was great fun. And uh, I felt I had some success. Right, I'm grabbing my next colour. These three little flowers in here, there's just the three, I'm going to do in yellow. This is number one. And I'm going to make the centres and the leaves um, the same colour. Now, it's very hard to do much with a yellow with regards to shading unless you use a different colour. Um, with like this colour, this red, we have done different intensities of colour uh, to get our sh to get our different shades. With yellow, we can't really see that because it reflects the light almost as much as the paper. So now I've done that, I'm actually going to use a different colour to just add in a little bit of hopefully a little bit of um, shading. So this is number 73, so it's our sort of brown. And I'm just going to use it the base of here to try to darken up a bit. I may have burnished it a bit too hard. Yep, you can see it. And around the edge of there. And there. If you had different shades of yellow, you could probably do that. It doesn't sit that nicely on yellow. But there we go. I might have been better off doing that first. But anyway, it's done now. Now we have a little flower down here. Um, what haven't we used yet? We haven't used a really sort of purple. Let's use this one. This is 61 and this is the dark mauve it's called for me. I don't think that's... I'm going to make it darker here and lighter towards the bottom of the um, petals. It's odd that this is called dark mauve because in um, polychromos the mauve is the uh, like a really dark bluey um, purple. So anyway, it is what it is. To me this is magenta. But as I say, names <laughs> can be very confusing. And there we go. Now this um, the, this bit here. Hmm. Hmm. 
I might just do it this colour. Yeah. Do it the same colour. And then get this um, number three and just darken it a bit. There we go. Okay, now where are we at? We've got these. Hmm. So we've got those two, but they look just like these. So I think I'm going to do all this bit in the same. Now we could use a different pink, or we could use a purple. Let's use this colour, actually. Let's go sharpen. It is called Bordeaux, and I think it's quite a pinky red. So what should we do? We we'll do the centres first, around the centre, and fade towards the middle. I'm going to do the little ones as well because, in fact, I'm going to start with the smallest while my um, pencil is the sharpest. And I want it quite intense at the bottom and less towards the tip. But what I have observed in flowers is that the buds tend to be quite intense with regards to the colour. So having the buds quite dark is okay. And these might be a bit lighter. It's still going to be quite difficult to get them that light. They look like tobacco plant, I think. We used to have some in our garden. Just seeing if you can see didn't zoom in that close. I thought it would be easier to sort of leave it so you could see it all better. So there is that one. There's not a lot of room to change the intensity of colour on these small ones. This one obviously looks very different, but it's still the same plant. We're just looking at it from a different angle. So it would be obviously be the same colour. Although if you observe a plant like this, oh, that one, you will find that uh, some of them are different colours. They might go darker as they um, die off the flowers or... Um, even brown a little bit. But uh, I don't like doing them like that. It makes them more realistic, but it's uh, no, like nice bright colours, pretty colours. It's interesting because some people say, Oh, what's your favourite colour? And you look at these things, I've never seen anyone say brown. <laughs> Some people say black, some, you know, but never brown. It's interesting. I wonder if anyone, what's your favourite colour? Is it brown? I bet it's not brown. And mine? Hmm. Could be green, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to know, isn't it? I think. Right, where are we at now? We have got these here. Now, I think looking at the colours we've got left. I think it would probably make sense to have a blue or purple. I think we'll use our... Hmm, just thinking we could save... We've got those. We could save the purple for the bugs and make those blue. Yeah, let's do that. So I've got this blue. This is number 37, which is the cyan. Now these, are these buds? I think they are. So we'll make these quite intense. As I was saying, you know, the buds tend to have more colour like that. And then with these, we've got to decide whether we go light to dark or dark to light or make a light bit. I think we'll, we'll make it dark on each side and make a light bit in the middle and then it might help to emphasize the little bell shape 
they're cute aren't they I tried drawing these um, in um, is it 30 days of creativity or how to drink inky wonderland draw inky wonderlands I can't remember and uh, they ended up looking the bit at the bottom that sort of curved you think that would be quite easy I don't know mine always end up looking like weird toes or something I don't know what it is it's just the oldest thing <laughs> so hey that's why I don't draw I don't uh, I don't find it fun and I draw weird toes <laughs> let's let Johanna draw I'm going to anyway you might be really good at drawing and that's great but not me okay so I think we've done mainly all the flowers we'll do the butterflies while I remember um, and we'll do the the um, and then we may leave the rest we'll definitely not do the greenery today um, I'm going to do the butterflies bodies in grey so I need to sharpen this grey they're very fine normally with the butterfly I would go around the edge of the body in a darker colour um, a more intensity of higher intensity of colour sorry this is number 80 which is light grey and um, and then leave a gap in the middle for some sort of shine and it also helps the body look more shapely but I can't do that because um, it's too small um, what colour are we going to do them? purple gosh my memory I only just said so this is number six which is the violet actually okay now with this small one this looks more like a damselfly or dragonfly I'm going to try and fade the colour out to the edges of the wings but it's quite difficult in such a small space but yeah damselfly dragonfly I can't remember the difference I think it's a bit like butterfly moth um, something to do with how whether the wings are open or closed when they're at rest or something like that right, there's that one and I'm sort of ignoring that little bit in there now I have got a video on how I colour butterflies in Johanna Basford books and they're often a lot more um, interesting than these and these are too small to do very much with and I've got a few videos on um, how to draw butterflies, colour butterflies I think so uh, there are those if you're interested in something a little bit more adventurous than that so let's come out because we have done for today so well done if you've been colouring along you've got a nice lot of colour and we're gonna we've got I have got four greens but I'm gonna keep quite a limited green palette probably picking only two so that we don't get too cluttered with colour that's a good phrase isn't it cluttered with colour so we'll see and we've got to do something with the ground probably a brown soil but uh, anyway, that's that's for the next video. It'll be the last one, I'm sure, because we'll finish off the glass as well. I've got an idea. We'll have a think. I'll have a think. <laughs> anyway, oh, let's just straighten up. There we go. So anyway, that's it for today. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.